Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Uh, so the big breaking news today, we're trying to give you daily news, is Joseph Parker is pushing for his WBO title shot. He's uh, outspoken, charismatic manager Kevin Higgins is pushing, saying that Joseph Parker should be ahead of Joe Joyce. He's got a better resume, feels he's better equipped for that mandatory slot behind Usyk. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because uh, you look at Parker's resume, he's beaten, obviously, Andy Ruiz Jr. He's beaten Takam. He beat uh, Dimitrenko, who's a good fighter. Slick, tricky. He beat Huey Fury. He took Joshua the distance in in the UK. Uh, Took Dillian White, nip and tuck, didn't he? But ultimately, that was a bad loss, I think. Losing to Dillian White. Um, and that, of course, knocked him down the pole. He's, you know, he's real rebuilt, beaten two journeymen since. And he's got Junior Farr, which is going to be a fantastic all New Zealand clash in February. Farr, 19 and 0, uh, ranked 6 in the WBO. So I guess if Parker knocks him out or beats him in style convincingly, then yes, Kevin Higgins uh, has a right to push, a, you know. Let's not forget, Parker's a former world champion as well. So, um, WBO champion. So, he's he's got that in the bank as well. If he beats Far convincingly, I can see an argument for him elevating not only Joyce, but Usyk. Of course, he won't elevate Usyk. But, you know, as a heavyweight, he'd have done more. Usyk's done nothing. He got took the distance by an old Tesoro. That's all he's done. So um, I totally agree with Higgins. And I think um, Joyce, great win against Jabbar. But before that, not done a whole lot, had he? Um, Probably his best win was against an an old Brian Jennings. Uh, So, yeah, I see what Higgins is coming about. When you think, forget about it, uh, you know, and we, let's let's be honest, we had forgotten about Joseph Parker. He's kind of the forgotten man of the heavyweight division. But uh, he's been smart. He's gone away. He's rebuilt. He stayed under the radar in New Zealand, low key, training between New Zealand and Las Vegas. With And he still kept his team of Higgins, uh, which I like, and of his head trainer. Um, which I, I really like. I think, um, you know, they've got a great uh, team there and it's been successful. And, you know, Joe Parker's still a young man. He's only 28. And obviously when he fought uh, um, uh, Joshua, he was 26. So he was still learning. When he fought Dillian White, he was 27. So he's still, what, 28, come to 29. He's, he's still a young man. He's getting better. He's actually hitting his prime now. The problem you've got, I feel, with Joseph Parker is um he's a little bit flat footed, a little bit one dimensional. Um and you know, Parker's trained that's it, Kevin Barry Barry trained David Tour as well. So likes to um you know train a, a come forward aggressive fighter, but I think he just needs to be more imposing, Parker. You know, he's got that New Zealand build, isn't he? Like a rugby player build. He's well built. He can bang. He can hit. He needs to use his power more. He needs to impose his size, his youth, everything. He was a bit standoffish against White. He, he let White bully him. He tried to fight a nice, clean boxing fight. You don't want that. Rough him up in the inside. He can do that. He's strong, naturally strong. Be aggressive. Be like he did to Andy Ruiz. You know, when he won the title, be strong, be bold, be on their head, their chest, their face, be snarling, be nasty. He's too much of a nice guy, Joseph Parker. I think Barry's trying to impose that on He needs to get that bit of dog between him. He wants to enjoy knocking people out. If you can get that, that snarl, that anger, that Dillian White, what Dillian White had against him, if you can get that, certainly in this far fight, then absolutely it'll be mandatory. Um, the problem is I don't see him beating Joshua. I don't see him beating Fury. That's the problem you've got. So you almost want to give Usyk a chance, who you know can do good things against Joshua. You want to give it to Joyce, who's unproven at world level, but you know could could potentially really worry Joshua as well. Parker, I'm not convinced, but his resume says otherwise. If he stops far, who's tough, he's game. 19-0. 
number six in the rankings, then that says otherwise. It all depends on his performance. How much improvement, how much dog, how much snow, how much pressure can Parker now deliver? How much has he learned from that disappointing loss against Dylan White? Because if he stays stuck, then no, he doesn't deserve that WBO chance and no, he won't win. If he shows improvements, if he's shown that he's now in his prime, his peak, he can put it on people like he should be doing, then absolutely, I feel he deserves to elevate Joyce and it'll be exciting to see what he can do with Joshua. Right now, though, it all depends on February. It's not going to be easy, but I expect a career best performance from Parker and I think he stops far. Watch this space. Joseph Parker, 2021, will go from being the unforgiven and the forgotten man to a real contender of the heavyweight division. Trust me.